it kind of look quick. It looks a lot different without smoke. Ooh. Damn. What? All this time, I haven't even seen my car yet. Oh, I don't think I have a car where the AC works. Welcome back, Harkane Abroad here in Germany. It's that show where we came to another country to fulfill our stupid hobby of buying more cars. There weren't enough cars left on Craigslist, so we had to come to Europe. <laughs> Today we're going to JP Performance, which is one of our buddies here in Germany. If you don't know, he's like probably the biggest automotive. He's the dude. dude he's, he's the, the, dude. He's the, the dude. guy. He's yeah. the guy. For he's Europe. got a really sick facility, a bunch of really cool cars, and maybe some stuff that we may have bought. I already bought an S2. Vinny got a BMW last night, and uh, I may have bought something. Ron bought something and may have had it shipped here, but you don't get to see that. Yet. What you guys don't realize is Germans hate when people are late, and, and we're, we're late to everything. Late. So we're gonna go. Oh God, we're late to everything and we're at the wrong place. He's got three buildings. We're over here at his museum and uh, he's actually at another building, another building, which is like 10 minutes away. So even more late. It's got a fault though. It's always, always my fault. <laughs> I think this is JP's daily, by the way, so I'm instantly jealous. That's a strong look right there. All right, we made it to JP Performance. Only an hour late, but we're eh, here. Hey, that's, that's not bad. And yeah. it actually turns out that our boys, Brian, Jason, and Billy from Rotiform are here because they're out here for Ultra Ace, which is a car show that we haven't told you we're going to in Poland. So we're going yeah. to a car show in Poland. Yeah. So Ultra, now you know. It used to be called Racism, but uh, they changed the name for obvious reasons. Which, nice, change. Yeah, nice, nice change, nice change. <laughs> This is okay. JP's flexathon. He's just yeah, all the, the whole time. Hey. What's up, buddy? You good? How's it going? Always good with this uh, perfect right. German pure yeah, weather. Yeah, JP. Hi. Good to see you, man. So, so you have, you have full stable. Okay. We're full stable. Oh, we've got some time. So we know that you've got three, no, four buildings now. Four, yeah. And a lot of cars to look at. We went to two of them on accident already. <laughs> 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 Our buddy Ruben, Dr. Crazy, his car's here, so that's one of the things on the tour. Unfortunately, we showed up so late last night that he wasn't able to give us the personal tour. So you No, but I had good company, because there uh, a few more people here. Oh yeah, yeah, we've got LA. the Rotiform boys here. What's up, guys? What up? Yeah, Ken Block is here too. <laughs> oh, oh, Ken, I thought you left. Damn, <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Can you, can you do a few of the poses? I can help you with that if yeah, you want. Right. I created those poses right. for Ken, right? It's Ken trying to seem excited. Think about riding a bull meets... Yeah. yeah oh, 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 ah, oh, 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 oh. Now act like you just shotgun three monsters. There you go, boom! That's it. You know what I just realized? We don't need Ken Block. Yeah, Brian's here too. Yeah. What's up? Brian is a <laughs> car cane like, addict also. Way, this, man, past camera. Pull through. this man pull goes through. through more cars than me and they're all 10 times nicer. Yeah, because they all run. He's smart enough to not do what I do, which is take them all apart and never put them back together. He actually has a car he buys here nice that we might try to make Scotto buy. He, the only way I can buy get a nice car is by just taking one of his. That's On the ride over, I shit you not, Scotto's like, please guys, help me out. Please help convince me to not buy this thing. And we're like, yo, you should probably buy this. Welcome to another peaceful snack break, brought to you by our friends at FCP Euro. Snack break. And our good friends at FCP Euro, they are a one-stop shop for Euro parts. Even cars that you buy in Europe, they've got parts for them. And they also offer a lifetime guarantee on all their stuff, which is kind of crazy. Including things like Liquimali, which is they are also the number one supplier. And when traveling in Germany, it's best to buy snacks not labeled Germany. Instead, labeled Japan. This is like a German rising sun. It is like, a German is rising it, sun. They, they're trying to be a JDM snack, but it's obviously made by people. But it's kind of like a chocolate covered rice crispy treat of some sort. I'm gonna skip to it. It's mediocre at best. Yeah. All right, we can not, throw the rest out. It's not great. But seriously, now that it's quiet without these guys, the show wouldn't have happened. So we are very happy for them. Snack break. So JP came to visit uh what three years ago four three and a half years ago, ago. Four years ago. you want german people to watch it of course we want germans to watch it okay i didn't really know about jp 
and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, like, the, you're German here, dude. yeah, German dude, and he's here with a guy from Lamborghini, and they brought an Audi for me to drive, so of course, you were there too, and I was like, all right, I was like, cool, yeah, blah, 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 and he shot this little video of Hoonigan, and it came out like two weeks later, and we just watched our subscribers do this. I was like, all right, this dude's kind of a big deal. I did TV shows for around 10 years, 11 years in Germany. This is how it started, why did YouTube really started so strong and so big. We got now around 2.1 million subscribers and around 20 million views because I, <laughs> I remember my first million. <laughs> um, I'm 40 years old. I know I look a little bit younger. <laughs> Say it. You do. You look younger than me. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, you look like an old truck. Damn! Oh my god. Right. It fits right in. We have 10 to 15,000 people a week come here to eat and watch at the cars, and that's really true numbers. It's a lot of people. A lot of Americans come here. Maybe some of them can write down to say, I've been here, because really from China, from America, from Japan, they all come here. We're doing cars, we're doing burgers, we have a museum, we uh, have a little racetrack, but I'm the only person allowed to drive there. That's the only problem in the moment, but we're working on that. Yeah, we're selling a lot of parts, KW, and a little roly phone wheels, some. A little bit. Uh, Just a little bit. Just some. Just some. Just a few. Just a little yeah. bit of KW, a little bit of rotiform, yeah. and no big deal. Clothing is, is, I gotta say, it's at least 30% of the whole wow. stuff, and then it's only 2 or 3% cars. It's sad to say, but that's the truth. Speaking of cars, are these all yours? Yeah, yeah. This is your collection. It's always difficult to say, but I say it one time, it's 50 cars now. Ooh, what? You're growing. Yeah. No, you can sell every right car here. in this room and buy my entire fleet, so yeah, I, I, I bail out. how quickly he just like glossed over the super we would have spent an entire episode on yeah. that. Well that's yeah, funny. Everybody wants to see the restroom one time if you like two more times come inside. <laughs> nice, nice. nice. I like Hold that. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go to the bathroom and with Gran Turismo mm -hmm. and VW because it's the original car from the, the game. The RSI? Or is it it's bigger than the RSI though, right? No, it's, 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 no, it's, it's the car thing? from the game. Oh, okay. It's in the game. And the exhaust comes out from at the doors here. Yes. You Jesus. see the pipe coming there and there. It's going to make this look so good after exactly, a year. Exactly. <laughs> but dude, this thing. Yeah, that's a go-kart. That's my, my little playing thing. Are those jet engines? Yes, three jet engines and it has the power of 170 kilos of thrust. Who but the weight, but the, the weight, including me, is 175 kilos. So it goes zero to 100 in around 2.9 seconds, only with thrust. The first half of the second is relaxed, and then it goes off. It's so dangerous, and you, you really. You, and you <laughs> That's really, the word I would have picked. Yeah, yeah. Right. It has an MTM chassis number. This is not an Audi. So there are only two made in the world, and I have one of them. Uh, congrats I, on finding that, because yeah, that's it. That was so I tried my hardest to like one up on that, and that's not even his car, but he just crushed me on, on this. Check out the wheels. Yeah. You got the hollow spoke magnesium. That's where you, yeah. put, the right. that's where you put the chili dog. Put the chili dog right there. Yeah. Are you? Okay. okay. You got to be kidding me. So this is what's going on your build. Yeah, Unreal. I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, the value of the wheels by itself is, I would say, around 10 oh, euro. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Wow. That's more expensive than Vinny's car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put those in your car and it doubles the work. So I would say we move over to the other building, right? Yeah, yeah that great. works for me. Yeah, big truck. Let's go. All right, so we're at building number two. Yeah, that's number two. Right. Okay. This is where the burger shop is. And this is the biggest reason why 10,000, 15,000 people come here a week. They mm -hmm. come here to eat. The line 
for the burger line for the burgers are from here all the way down to the to the uh, bus station. Breakfast was Sick. minutes ago, so I'm famished. <laughs> Let's go get a burger. <laughs> So wait, this is the closest proximity of a burger joint to a dino that I think I've seen mm. under one roof. It's such a nice feeling. We have here 500 people standing in front of the glass. You dino R34, the flames come out yeah. and everybody screams and then eating this burger, yeah. playing uh, pool. All this, is, that was my dream that people have this place for no money. You can just come, hang out. Experience it all. And then leave. Yeah. yeah. That's really rad, man. You've created a community here. Starts right up. Starts right up. Wow. Awesome. Check out the interior. Damn. This is like the dream build that you think of in your head. It's just gonna sing. Like I, this is like how I spend my nights. Is like imagine you did this and he does it. When you need to light your pool table, this is how you do it here. It runs great, other than the power steering problem. What the? Yeah, yeah, there's that. Your buddy. Careful. I never said. Yeah, Crazy. right. <laughs> Hold on. Your buddy, Dr. Crazy, is the one who went and looked at it for me. He did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He, he doesn't like you then. <laughs> <laughs> Brian has something that he's trying to pawn yeah, off Brian on Brian. Brian. By the way, you, Hefe it means boss. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. This he's bickering, the bickering's uh, never gonna end. Let's go downstairs. Let's, go down Let's do this thing. <laughs> Dungeon, okay. <laughs> wow. So this is what I should have bought. Wow. This is what I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Another one. Another one. Look, look here, look here, look here. You see this? Wait, you can run your wait, finger across wait. that and not get tetanus? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's incredible. That's incredible. Oh, yeah. Don't tell me it starts, too. <laughs> These are actually the wheels from my old RS2 that I had like four years ago. I sold them to a guy in Finland and I bought this car from Ronnie Collin, who's been a longtime customer, about 10 years. Uh, bought this from Finland, had it shipped here. I plan on taking it back to the US. Oh, starts right up. Well, reverse, oh, lights, reverse out. lights out. Not, this not thing's junk. Off the no, price. the other one's fo fog light. Rain fog oh, light. Man. There is only one reverse light. We're, we're uneducated as yeah, shit. It's got sun. Dude, and it's got no sunroof. I know. Also so rare. The one problem for me with a lot of the RS2s I was looking for is I don't actually fit in the car with the sunroof. For anyone who watches this in Europe and doesn't understand, every car in America comes with a sunroof. It's like the option everyone picks. So every, slick tops are like something we covet. Super, every single 964 Turbo sold in America had a sunroof. That's why I cut mine off. It looks tufted. It's very mid mod. Even comes with some spare parts. Wow. Oh, it actually I'm has sure one of these. these. Are, Not three fog lights. I'm sure these are this. expensive. Yeah, these yeah, are probably yeah, a couple yeah. thousand bucks. This right? is posed. This is posed because a car that comes with a bunch of parts in it already. That's right up I'm Ryan's alley. I'm starting to question. Hey, Ryan. Ryan's trying to sell this really hard. Did he get this and realize it's not a Henderson level car? It's a Henderson 7, which for you is a Scott 011. I knew this was coming up, so I already, like, I'm already blinded by the car. So Vinny's gonna do the pre purchase inspection. Yeah, you should buy it. You're already in love with that, I can tell. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, the air conditioning works. Oh, I don't think I have a car where the AC works. I was gonna say that alone is the selling point. Brian, I know you told me to be your your voice of reason out here. Your voice of reason says you have to buy this. This thing's perfect. Has original original stereo, all the good RS2 trim bits. It's got the black interior. Sports seats. Yeah. I want to say that I know that if you're watching this series from the beginning, this feels set up, but I came here with all intentions of buying an S2 and bringing that home. It's, it's more bang for the buck. I mean, this is twice the amount of money, but it's also twice the amount of car. And I didn't admit that. The RS2 is faster. Uh, it has 
a different look to it because it has a different front bumper, it's got a different grill, has a different hatch, has a different rear bumper. Other than that, it's kind of the same. I mean, this is probably one of the most special cars this Audi ever built, right? Like, you have the R other RS4s, but this is the Porsche car. And if I was to name my three favorite brands, it's Volkswagen, Audi, Porsche, right? And uh, it's actually good that this has very few Volkswagen parts on it. <laughs> Sorry, I said it. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, it even says your name. It, it was meant to be. Right. It already says Brian yeah. on it. I don't even think we talked about the price. I'm literally no. just like, we'll figure, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Hey, you now, we go back to America. He, he knows where you live, so that's about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you've hold bought on, two on. cars on this trip already. Hold on, hold on. You bought two nearly identical cars. So unfortunately, even though I just purchased this, which I'm really excited about, this is the, one of the best purchases I think I've made. I haven't even really driven it. I would it. agree with you. Unfortunately, because it is not toothed and I don't have export plates for it, I don't get to drive it. So now I get to experience that for about 30 seconds and now get back into my bargain basement S2. So now we are in building number four. This is a museum that the sad thing is about, it never opened so far. It's finished now for nine months, but the German government is, um, is really making so many problems with, yeah, you have to change this, you have to change that pipe, because they know how many people come to the burger shop. They're mm. afraid of this will open with COVID and all this. So Wait. this is just an open to public museum? Yes. Man, that's that what I love about that. The, the yes. other building but, 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 but I have to, to say, public. not my cars. Right. But I, I would not be a no, guy. No, they're a curated bunch of cars. Yes, 100%. And I will never build a museum with my own yeah. cars. Hey, uh, come inside, check out cars. <laughs> you know? I mean, you sort of have it on the other side, but that's yeah, just a That's collection. more of a hangout. That's, that's more a of a hangout. Yeah, yeah, that's a burger shop. And, and the people, I think, enjoy because they watch the videos and see how their cars come to life. Yeah. And then to see it in real life, I think it's, it's a... I see it every day. I, in the beginning, I didn't think that this will be so special for them. Yeah. But you see people come inside, they see the video for one year, and then they see it, and they go like this. They feel and like they're a part of it. 100%, they're a part of the 100%. Yeah, that's a cool and, thing. And this happens all the time, every day. So I think this is why the place works so well. But here, they are only big cars from the, from the, from the past. And get the steps, get in, the steps in, hydrating. Hot steps, hot steps, hot steps. That's the most movement I've seen out of you this trip. <laughs> Ooh, what? Yeah, this, this, is, this is the guy. This is the what guy. are we looking at here? This is the Formula One engine from the from the 80s that BMW built. This car had in race mode 1,000 HP, yeah, and 1,400 in qualifying mode. It's a 1.8, 1.9 liter engine, four cylinder. And this is actually how it sat in the car, right? Exactly. So if you look at this, right, the engine is sideways. You know, Pike Chic was the big thing to do in the 80s. Obviously, Audi went there with the Quattro, set a ton of records, just continually won there. And Volkswagen said, let's try it ourselves. And they built this. <laughs> this is the coolest thing I've seen, because like this is a car I know a lot about, but like there's not that much about it. So all you can see is like old magazine stories. Like I read a road and track article about this. Remember reading magazines? Oh, this thing's cool. Look at the look at the phone dial letterbox. I've never seen that. Yeah. Does it fit? I mean, the time card's kind of small. You're not gonna fit a time card Dude. through there, but. Oh. Can you put a chili dog chili through dog. here? Dude, you, you can put a chili dog chili right dogs through that. Chili dog! Is this the, the mid-engine, I think, V12? No, this is, that was way earlier. Oh, that was way. front engine. Okay. Car, and uh, this is the one with the three liter VR6 engine. Whoa. This is the engine that is made for China, for the Chinese market. Interesting. What is this? It's a 959 Group B. This is the only car made. I call it the marshmallow car, because it kind of looks like And it is, it is pretty, uh, pretty expensive. 
Yeah, I so would imagine so. So before RWB was a thing and I wanted to build an I-11, my dream was to just like replicate this car, nine right? Nine. Like just the shape, well, not a 959, but this, the because this has a different look than a regular 959. Absolutely. The concept is like more rounded, more flowing. And there are not many pictures from the rear. Yeah, Check it out from the rear. Also, you can't tell There's probably in video, I've ever seen but this color, is like you can't even describe what color this is. It's, it's future like, future white. You know what it looks like? Icing on a nineteen dollar cupcake. You know, like the most expensive yeah, yeah, cupcake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the color icing. Wow. Pearl necklace white. There you go. There you go. This is where it all started? Yeah. In Volkswagen, that's why you're friends with Brian this, and Jason. This is the actual car? Dude, no. This is the actual car. Dude, no. all the German seat materials yeah. are so Look sick. Look at the, like, the, it's like plush. It looks like a candy cane, like a blue raspberry candy cane. That's what that seat reminds me of, and it, like, now I'm salivating a little bit. Before we get out of here, there's one last thing to do, and it's, you bought a car in Spain, and JP's been storing it for you. And you guys made me go through all this tour, all this time. I haven't even seen my car yet. Well, you saw how big of a mess this episode was, so we didn't want to jumble <laughs> that into there. No, <laughs> Vinny got his car. I got two cars. You get your car. I get to see my car. You bought it sight unseen in Spain. I bought this car sight unseen, and the best place I figured I could have that thing delivered to is oh. right here. Wait, at a second, wait a second. Oh, it's working again. Wow. You guys were quick. It looks a lot different without smoke. Congrats on your new TV. car. It's now a JP Performance car. Congrats on your Tune. new car. Tune. You no. own this now. No. A... Give that camera to someone else. Brian and I will pull the cover off. Like Grand reveal movie. for you. Yo, Ron got a Lamborghini. They gave me the most bougie Ooh, car cover in the world. A cool touch. Looking on. Chili dog. Get in the car and fire it up. For the first time. Can you turn this smoke machine on? With the ballast boy up in here! Whoa. Just as we start heading to the ring, it starts pouring. 